No conversation on urban crime is complete without the communities that are affected by his broken windows, policing theory, by his, by the actions of his officers, as we've seen in Staten Island, as we've seen most recently in East New York with the murder of Akai Gurley. We need these community voices here, and we need to be able to challenge Commissioner Bratton. And we collectively all agree that Commissioner Bratton should never have been here, and we're demanding the removal. We continue to demand the removal of Commissioner Bratton and an end to broken windows based policing. Other groups have, have a, a list of more specific demands, so I will let each group uh, elaborate on their demands. But collectively, as an anti Bratton, anti broken windows coalition, we are calling again for the end of broken windows based policing, for the removal of Bill Bratton of which they, they, it is a package deal. Bill Bratton and Broken Windows are synonymous with each other. So he cannot be here. And also, we're advocating, we are not here to advocate for any other police uh, authority. We're here to advocate for community control of the NYPD. And we can elaborate further on that. But there can be no reform, let me make it clear, with Bill Bratton here. And although Bill Bratton is not the only piece of the puzzle, he is a key piece of the puzzle. So whether or not we were able to get him out today, tomorrow, next month, we are committed to making sure that he is not allowed to stay here anymore to, to, to push his theories, which have a disproportionate effect on communities of color, the homeless, street vendors, subway performers, poor New Yorkers, and we also here to say that there needs to be a fundamental change, a radical reformation of the way the NYPD does business. As we've seen recently, just, just last Thursday night in East New York housing projects, the lives of people of color, young black men of color, young women of color, poor people, they are not respected and valued by the NYPD and by this and, and by the institutions here, including the mayor of New York who is responsible for bringing Bratton back. And he betrayed all of the people who were asking for deep reforms by bringing back the architect of Stop and Frisk, the champion of, bro of broken windows policing, and a man who already has blood on his hands from 1994 to 1996, including mo perhaps most famously Nicholas Hayward Sr., who was also shot in a public housing staircase in Brooklyn 20 years ago this year, resembling the, resembling the case of Kai Gurley. He's also responsible in the 90s for the NYPD's murder, choking murder of Anthony Baez, just like Eric Garner, again 20 years to the year. So we're seeing these patterns repeat. And so therefore, we continue to say, Bill Bratton must go. Bill Bratton must go. Bill Bratton must go. Bill Bratton must go. Just Bratton. Bratton must go. Bratton must go. Bratton must go. Bratton must go. push forward and we will hold everyone accountable and the city of New York will be held accountable for the actions of its police officers once and for all. Enough is enough. So whether it's hands up, don't shoot, shut it down, we're going to make sure that this stops and Bill Bratton's, uh, Bill, Bill, getting Bill Bratton is the first piece of that puzzle and we're here to make sure that New York City understands that. Uh, one thing that I do want to emphasize is how important it is for y'all to understand that this is a movement of getting Bratton to resign and making sure that Bratton will never come to be any part of this system, I mean, of um, any part of the police department again. But the simple fact is, from when he was here in 1994 all the way to Los Angeles and then, on the, and then back over here, he has not represented anything good for people of color. He came back to New York City with the broken window policing, and all you have seen is people of color being targeted with, for minor crimes, being arrested and criminalized every single day. Not only that, since Bratton been, since Bratton been police commissioner again here in New York City, you have seen more than 10 to 20 cops being, being um, being accused of assaulting. Many of them already have been convicted. There's cops in the Bronx that have been convicted for assault. Cops in the Bronx that have been convicted for shooting at somebody. So we're talking about that there is uh, a sickness going on with police brutality to a point where police feel that they can continue to abuse people's rights, continue to criminalize, assault people with impunity because there is no accountability. 
and Bill Brand hasn't shown any remorse towards anything that these police officers has done. Now, what happened in Brooklyn, that's a prime example for police officer uh, Bill, I mean, for Commissioner Bill Brand to come out and say that that was an accident. We're talking about a police officer from the PSA 2, Peter Leanne, who failed to, pro to follow proper procedures and protocol. The patrol guy, 203-12, tell you about deadly force and also tell you about, about when you should take the gun out. There was no dispatch, there was no call to the dispatch of any emergency in that building over there in the pink houses. The other officers that was with him did not have his gun out. So we're talking about an officer that was walking around with a gun out, and not only that, officers are trained not to have their finger on the trigger of the gun. And now for an officer to have a trigger on a gun and just shoot somebody point blank in the chest, we talk about, listen, I've been to shooting galleries. Where you aim is what you shoot at. So there ain't no accident when you hit somebody point blank in the chest. You was aiming for that person, and you hit the target that you wanted to hit. So we need to understand that Bill Bratton does not hold any of these officers accountable, and he would never will, and he would never admit that these officers are wrong. So as a member of New Yorkers Against Bratton, and also the founder of Kawas Patrol Unit, we support any struggle that deals with getting Bratton removed from office. Thank you. Why is the response, more weapons? Why isn't there a sensitivity towards the culture that you're about to patrol in? Why is anyone walking around with a gun pointed before you can speak to someone? Those are problems. Those are not uh, just one person. This is a systemic problem. This is a, a social scar that needs to be handled.